has her own boutique and clothing line here in Senegal. So today is her grand opening of her showroom. So we're gonna be here and show you all the stuff. Stay tuned. YouTube land. Hello people in the YouTube land. My name is Unique and I am the uh, owner of I Love FGC. I'm Boston and Zakar because we are now in both places. Hey. <laughs> yes, and we're a pop-up boutique, but now we have like an actual location here. Um, but we are a pop-up boutique that we make, design, and curate all of our items. Uh, so I originally started off just making my stuff and you know buying things from different other designers that I can mix in mm -hmm. to give people the full the lie girl experience. Mm -hmm. um, but now you know I've been coming to Senegal for the last few years and picking out my fabrics and designing pieces, working with different artists. Mm -hmm. And now I am um, living here full time. Hey. No, just kidding. <laughs> and while I'm here, I decided to like really expand the business. So I hired some tailors full time, mm -hmm. and we got us a workspace, and we are like pumping it out, doing it like we're entrepreneur. It. Just yeah, so we're still mixing in like um, you know the things like I just. These bags, I don't actually make. I design them, mm -hmm. but I'm able to support local artisans because they make the bags, you know. And I pay them fair prices. I don't like haggle them down. Right. Like, uh, bare minimum, you know, and I buy this fabric, it's imported in from Molly, so you know, that money's going to Molly. That's what I recognize, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. And then I still do like my curated sunglasses and earrings, and I have earrings that I laser cut myself. Laser cut. Mm -hmm, so I use like a laser engraver. So it's like a mixture of things. Like I said, I make, design, or curate. How did you learn how to do all this? I taught myself how to do all this stuff. Literally. Wow. <laughs> I just like bought a sewing machine and started making clothes and that's how FGC started. Uh huh. Um, Cause I was having problems finding things for myself that were as fashionable as my friends were able to find. Why? Um, so I started making, I started off with like sequence dresses, like everything sequins. So it's so funny to see like, it spikes and studs on everything. <laughs> so it's so funny to see like the evolution. Um, but once I found um, the African print fabrics, I just like fell in love and it was just like a wrap. Wow. <laughs> Literally you moved here recently. Yep, so I moved here last year, January. So I've been here for a little over a year, um, and I just absolutely love it. Okay. I just can never see myself going back. Wow. Um, you speak well of French. <laughs> so I did take some whole life classes, so I have two theater. You okay. know what? I'm working, I'm going to get back to the classes. I forgot. But like, you're I'm able working. to do business. <laughs> yeah, I'm able to do business. Without even being My fluent. My Senegalese, so you know, he does help me with translating. Hey, and it's a little family bit, thing. I know I'll be using it to my advantage. Okay. You know, I'll be like, listen, hey, it's definitely shit. You know, I'll be bargaining with the guy. <laughs> but yeah, so 
I love Senegal. I'm so happy to be here amongst the people, working with different people from here, and just getting back to the roots. And wow. also, meeting Black this year is like so amazing. Yes. Like, I'm so yes. Excited. I got some here. I didn't even think at like the same time. That's the craziest part. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Well, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so I don't much. even know you like that, but I'm so proud of you Thank because you. I'm this so is. Proud of you. This is, this is this is amazing. Sewing is just so like such a talent here. Like, everyone can sew. It's like crazy. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing that people probably do not know is that it's mostly men that sew here. Yeah, that's true. money into their clothes. Exactly. So it's, like, so it's a great career to have. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm teaching sewing classes now. That's the next thing I'm trying to do. I did that in Boston. I did like sewing one on one. You know, teaching oh. women how to sew. And here I'm like, we really got to do that. Like, we really got to get more women yes. sewing it into the fashion. Game. Now I'm more of a designer. But yes. you know, my roots are in sewing, so I still can do it. Yeah. I can't believe you taught yourself how to sew. Yeah. Just I like just bought a machine and just was like, my friends were hyping me up. Like, I know you can sew. I'm like, really? Let me see if I could. This is awesome. Well, I'm going to go back to shopping now. Yes, thank you so much. And everybody needs to come. I'll put all the information in the yes, details. Yes, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook. It's I Love FGC for Fly Girl Couture. Cause that's the name of my clothing line. Mm -hmm. And um, my website is www.ilovefgc.com. Here we go. All right. Shopping. Yes. I spent. Well, don't let don't don't let my husband hear. <laughs> but I spent some money. But look at this. She spent three dollars. Yes, three dollars. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> I bought some good stuff. I'm gonna have to show y'all later. But oh my gosh, her prices are so great. I thought it was gonna be like fancy, you know, Beverly Hills prices. But she has reasonable prices. People with, you know, little small money like me can buy here and get some nice stuff she has. She, uh, what's the word she say? She curates. So some of the stuff here is like from 7th, what's this, from 7th Avenue, 7th Avenue or something like this? New York and Company. So she got all the stuff. So y'all need to come get it. I'm going to show y'all later what I got when I get home. But uh, I'm having so much fun. All the and, all, and all the tribe is here. See all the tribe? All the tribe is here. Everybody's here. Y'all need to come. Everybody, everybody. All the tribe is here. Say hi. Say what's up. If you're not here, where are you at? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I had to sit situated so I can show you guys what I got. So I got these glasses here. Bam. Bam. What? And then I got this blouse here, which is a really good material. It comes from a Seventh Avenue Design Studio, New York and Co. Thick material, but this is like a nice blouse that can dress up any like jean outfit or whatever and you got the little thing right here little boop, boop. so that's beautiful and i love this color on my skin as you can see ah. y'all get ready for this ah. this lovely lovely gown here ah. bam it's a beautiful dress Back out like what? Long sleeve dress, knee length dress, and it is gorge, darling. I tell you, gorge. Uh, yeah, next big event to do. The girl is coming out. And look at her cute little bag. Bing, bing, bing. So, you say the best for last. Look what I got you guys. Man, I'm gonna tell you, this is everything. Check this. Yes. We wouldn't call it a tote bag. It's a travel bag. Because it's big enough. But it's small enough to be like your personal item on the plane. So it could be a large person. You could fit you could fit a poodle in here. But just look at that design. Like this was the last one of a type of one she had on display. And she said it's her favorite. And I love it because you see like the Aztec going on in here, the the 
the Inca looking. Like, I like how it's very mixed. Like, you can't really tell right off the bat what it is or what it's about. And I think that like, something like this goes with anything. So I can't wait till the next time I travel. I will be traveling in style. And look, you see these right here? This is the, 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 the detail. If you look, let me see if you can see. Underneath, you see these little metal things right here? These are things that when people usually make stuff with African type material, these metal things right under here, you see it? Boom, boom, boom. So when you put your bag down, it's not on the floor. Like so, like that. Those are things that she thinks about. You got zipper on the side, and it's quality stuff. Like, this material is not cardboard inside here. Like this is like, I don't even know what the material is, but it's hard and it's lined and everything. It's organized, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just have all your stuff in there. And then she got a zipper pocket in the inside, bam. So it's just, and then a handle, another handle over here if you need to hold it like so, like that. Wow, this is just really good quality. So this is great and this is exciting and this is fly and it is so cute. Like I can't wait to travel and just be like, <laughs> And I spent only like $127, and I'm telling you that because I got four items, this beautiful dress, this really cute top, like quality material top, the sunglasses, and a bag. Like all that together, all that. So the prices are definitely reasonable. We had a blast, it was fun. All the, uh, all the American homies was there. It was like a little family reunion. Um, shout out to everybody in Dakar. Um, we was chopping it up for a long time after the shopping was over. Like the hot topic right, right, right now is still um, Will. Like I love today. chopping it up with with all the women in there and stuff. But good times were had by all. And only thing was the car traffic because it is 11:25 at night right now. And. Uh, Driving in that car, oh my God. Oh, y'all in that car driving. Whew. Man, big up to y'all. I cannot do so, it. I'm gonna go to bed because that car make me tired. <laughs> Even though I love it. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. Black people, we the coolest. We the baddest. We the flyest. We the realest. I love y'all. Peace.